Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm gonna make some mole, the easy, lazy way. Break down everything that's been thrown in me till I break out of everything that's controlling me. Cause I know, yeah, I know that this world's a little crazy, but I know, still I know that. This world will never face me so wide. I have been in and out of the house all day, like no joke. Like I had a lot to do today for my dad's insurance and that took literally from morning till now. It's almost five o'clock in the afternoon. But the ladies were so nice. She she helped me out a lot and I'm very grateful for her. So now I come home and make dinner. And we're gonna do some mole. And I mean the lazy way because Today I don't feel like doing anything. Um I'm not boiling the chicken. I've had a long day. So we went to Costco and we got a rotisserie chicken. Ugh. So I'm just gonna shred it up and add it to the mole later. But for right now, I like to start with some chocolate. I usually use chocolate abuelita, but I don't have any right now. So we're going to use Ibarra, which I like just as much. The only difference is they're smaller. So I have to use one and a half of them. So, I prefer this one. It tastes better, I think, personally. But then I have to leave half of it. But, yeah. So, I'm going to cut it in half. And then we have another one right here. This one's going to go in full. And then we kind of just let it melt. Um, It's on low right now. The heat's on low. And this is the pan. The heat's on low, and I'm gonna put a little bit of um, consomme um, water, juice, uh, broth. That's what it's called. Get yourself like. together, In man. There right now. So, my husband just told me that I forgot to say chicken or beef broth. I use chicken to make my own broth, um, but usually, technically, what I use is after I boil the chicken. <laughs> I use this one. After I boil the chicken, I use that same broth. But today we're not boiling chicken, so we're just making our own broth. Which is just pretty much some water and some consomme. I'm telling you, this is a lazy way to do it. Okay guys, so it doesn't look all that great right now, but trust me, it's gonna come out so yummy. And after this is melted, we add the mole sauce. And we let it melt away as well. We stir and we keep adding some chicken broth. Or whatever kind of broth you want. I do chicken. I think I've already said. And, and then you get it to like the thickness or the consistency that you like. And you shred up the chicken. And voila. And I'm going to make some very easy, very plain, very simple orange Mexican rice. Um, my kids don't like all the vegetables that go in it. So I just make it. Just rice, so. So, it does take a little while though for the chocolate to melt, because I do it on low. Because believe it or not, mole is very easy to, it, it burns easily, very easy. So it takes a little good minute for it, the chocolate to melt. My favorite part is how to get the lid off because I can never get that right. I've done this for so long. It's not even funny. I've done this for so long. I've been married for 16 years and I did I've done it for even longer than that And um, I still can't get the the lid to just pop out As hard as I try it's supposed to be At one point they had a twist one that I could never twist and then I guess the easiest thing is a bottle opener, but I don't have a bottle opener wait my keys I'll be right back. Two thousand years later. I can't find my keys. Nobody knows where my keys are. Your keys? Yeah. I know. Nobody knows. 
So we're gonna try this again. You know, one of my biggest pet peeves is to cook with your hair down. So I'm recording. My daughter said, yeah. So, not just really, her. It can be just her. It's everyone who cooks with their hair down. Yeah, I don't like when she cooks with her hair down either. So I gotta find a scrunchie to put my hair up. But then I look empty all the time. See, I am struggling to get this lid off while the chocolate is on low melting. I always stand here and struggle, and then I get like this juice stuff this grease stains so be careful ew gross that was my lovely delicate flower of a cheerleader daughter sounding like a man see all this stain all this stains so be careful where you put it comment down below if you like mole i will tell you my kids do not like mole there's like a little layer of juice or grease, I don't know what it is, but it's on top. It's like so I just pour that out first and then I scrape it out. Scrape it out, scrape it out. I use anything, I'm using a knife. And you just kind of hopefully I don't drop any but be careful because it always drips either that or I'm just really bad at this but it always drips for me. There we go. And then you kind of just do that. Um, I keep messing up on it. Anyways, the cup, the thing in the cup, that's it. And then we're just going to mix it together until it's kind of done. I personally um, throw the cup away because I make mole a lot. Even though my kids do not like mole, I make it a lot. So I don't want to keep all the cups. But some people wash them and keep them. But remember that grease that it comes with is very it's staining. It stains a lot. So here it is. It's kind of melting in. And I always do it on low. Because there's no hurry. When you make mole, you'll either burn it or you'll make it good. And it needs more juice, so we need more broth. Quick side note. When you make the chicken broth, like without boiling the chicken... I always use hot water because, um, I don't know, I feel like you have to. Uh, I'm sure you can use it with whatever water, but I always use water that's already hot. Yeah. So while uh, all that is cooking, I told you guys I'm gonna make a very simple rice. Very, very simple. I'm gonna do a little fried rice, put some vegetable oil, put out some rice. I know the shadow sucks, but this is what it's turning out to be. And you still have to add more stuff, consomme stuff, water, liquid to it so that it is not that thick, it's not supposed to be that thick. And then the rice is gonna start frying up soon. If I turn it on, I did turn it on. And then we'll go from there. So now, I'm just going to add some Lazy Girl tomato sauce because this is a lazy way to do it. I'm just going to add some tomato sauce on the rice, some consomme on the rice. Again, usually when I boil the chicken, I use the chicken broth. But I do not spoil the chicken because I don't want to. Not today, guys. So. And you just pour it. Okay guys, it's kind of hard for me to stir and hold the phone at the same time. I kind of eye it, the consomme. I put, obviously, I put four cups of, of water because we did two cups of rice. 
So the consomme, I kind of eye it and I let it kind of stir it in. And then I taste it with a spoon. That's perfect. I always like to make it just a little bit salty because while it's boiling and then once it gets absorbed in the rice, the salt kind of gets less and less. I know I'm struggling to stir, but okay. It's pretty much mixed in. I put a lid on it and I turn it up on high, not too high. Don't mind my pots. It's my favorite, favorite pot. And I let it boil. And once it's boiling, I um, I check it out. And if I can't see any more water, I turn it off. I let leave the lid on and let it cook. Might finish cooking that way. So the mole is pretty much done. I just need to shred the chicken. And yeah. And but it got done. So right now I'm just going to finally eat. I haven't had nothing to eat except for the toasted bread right now. But I was not gonna sit here and cook a full meal with nothing in my stomach. It's in the background, Jiggy. How the Huh? <laughs> you know I'm recording. I don't know why you would do that. That's definitely going in though. No. <laughs> okay. Explanation. She's the only one who drinks out of that milk. Nasty though. I'm always washing my hands because I constantly touch things, but that's okay. But um, I shredded some chicken and I put it in the microwave for a little bit because it was colder than I wanted it to be, so now it's hot. So it's right here, and then I just put it in different plates and pour the mole sauce over it and some rice, and then we're good to go. Okay guys, so I'm back and it is nine o'clock at night and I had to rush out. I had to rush out because my dad, he um, needed a ride. And then from there I had to run to a, a meeting at church. So to be honest, I haven't even had the food yet, but um, my family already started eating it. So I can't show you. I can't show you the actual thing because it's not pretty, but here's the rice. This is what the rice looks like. And I put some chicken, 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 Ugh. okay, that's good. This is what it looks like right now. And then. Pour on the sauce. And I like to put it, I like to put it on my rice. So this is what my food looks like. So uh, comment down below if you'd like to see more of these. And Monday is going to be um, dedicated basically to like uh, my style of cooking. Kind of like old school, but yet not like hacks i guess but they're not really hacks it's just my lazy way of doing food so i will talk to you guys soon and i'll see you in the next video subscribe please subscribe don't forget to like share subscribe and comment and um i will talk to you guys soon love you guys thank you for the support bye Break down. Everything that's been thrown in me till I break out of everything that's controlling me, cause I know.